I'm Mike Ahern, and it's all about art. It began as a series of children's books, became a hit movie in 1964, and now Mary Poppins has popped out on stage. We'll talk with one of the stars next on 93 WIBC, after this from the Center for the Performing Arts. How does pure sound sound? Is it a simple matter of acoustic perfection, or is it something more? Maybe it's the sound of art and culture ringing loud and true. Or a community coming together in a celebration of classical music, jazz, live theater, and more. However you define it, Pure Sound is coming to central Indiana. Opening in January 2011, the Palladium at the Center for the Performing Arts is a breathtaking concert hall located in Carmel, Indiana. It will attract the finest performers while offering audiences a listening experience comparable to the world's greatest concert halls. The Center for the Performing Arts will also house two state-of-the-art theaters and Michael Feinstein's acclaimed Great American Songbook. The Palladium at the Center for the Performing Arts, a landmark for listening, a concert hall for all, and a gathering place for our entire community. Learn more at thecenterfortheperformingarts.org. Bert, the sometime chimney sweep, sings one of several memorable songs from the musical Mary Poppins. The movie is almost 50 years old now, but the stage version is relatively new, and it's now playing at the Miraw Theater at the Old National Center. Nicholas Stromard plays the role of Bert. He does it all. Okay. He chimney sweeps, he plays the organ, he's a chalk drawer. I mean, he's a very multi-talented man. And he's Murray's best friend, or one of her best friends. Yeah, he's the best friend. I think he's, he has this, this love for her, and every time she comes to visit, he's always so head over heels to, to see her, and you know, his life just gets that much better when she's visiting. When you step in time, you have a jolly holiday with Mary, you have uh, just great songs. Like, yeah, what's your favorite one to do? Uh, my favorite is Step in Time, definitely. Step in just that's a tough one, isn't it? It's it's tough. It's a 10-minute tap number. Oh. It's really fantastic, though. It's visually stunning. Everything that happens between all the dancers that tap dance, the, we start on the roof of the house, and the house disappears, and we all all these chimneys, and there's a wonderful, wonderful moment that Bert does. And you know, I'll let you see it when you see the show. You know what yeah, let's talk about the house, because the house is really a, a character in this in this show. Yeah, it's this foldable dollhouse, essentially, that comes forward, rolls on, on wheels, comes forward, and opens up like a dollhouse. It's really amazing. Wow, 11,000 pound doll, dollhouse, I guess. Isn't it? That's the one. Yeah. I'm the only one on stage as the house opens, then in, in the house reveals the, the five characters that start the story, essentially. And so uh, as soon as the house opens, the audience started clapping and applauding and screaming. It was really wonderful to have that feeling. Check your breath before you speak in case it's halitosis. How long did it take you to learn supercalifragilistic expialidocious? <laughs> we were in rehearsals when the original company started on Broadway. We were in rehearsals every day for about a week, and they had all the letters on the mirror <laughs> and every day I think we learned maybe five or six letters so we'd start with Super and then Cali and then eventually over the course of a month we finally got it all Nicholas Stromard in Mary Poppins now on stage at the Miraw Theater I'm Mike Ahern for 93 WIBC where it's all about art and that means it's all about you